Hey, what's up, world? You already know who it is, man. OG Ron C, Chop Stars Finest, man. The king of all this slow down shit right now, man. You know what I'm saying? And right now, I'm about to smoke a purse so sweet right here on High Thoughts. Shh, got this smoke. I'm about to smoke a purse so sweet with High Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's High Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beat, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with High Thoughts TV. So what's going down? What's going down? What's up? What's up, world? Nothing much. Uh, we got another legend with us. Welcome to Hot Thoughts TV. Uh, the people, even though they should know who, who we got with us, let them know who, who here with us today. The one and only, man. The greatest you've ever seen do this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start checking my chest out when I say that shit. You know what I'm saying? No, for <laughs> sure. You got to. You nah, got what's to. up? What's up, world? OG Ron C, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, Chop Stars Finest. You know, Switch Eyes, all that good stuff, man. For sure. So, uh... Just a little bit more on your background. So for the people that don't know, where exactly are you from? And what was the community like growing up? Uh, I'm from uh, I'm from Field Ward, Cashman Garden area, you know. Um, you know, back when I grew up, then was the bag. You couldn't walk them streets then, you know, so. Yeah. You know, uh, it's a good time now, <laughs> I guess now. But you, know, you still can't walk the streets now today, but, you know. Yeah, that's, that's Shoot, Fifth Ward Cashman Garden area, man, that's this that's was my you know, that's well and acres home when I got in my teenage years, so you know, I grew up in the hood. Yeah. Right, so you had mentioned the Cashmere Gardens, uh Acres Homes area. Yeah. So yeah, those are some pretty popular areas within the Houston community for the outsiders, uh give a little bit of like, you know what I'm saying, maybe some shit you've seen walking those those streets, you know, at that, that time in life. At point in time. Uh, but see, we used to have dolphins and prostitutes back then, so that's when they used to walk the streets. So, yeah, that's why some of the crazy stuff I've seen between you know, you <laughs> taking them days, seeing people smoking crack on the streets and hoes fucking right there on the, on the corner and doing with the second dick in the car and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's hood shit. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's. that's that's old hood shit. I don't know what the motherfuckers doing in the hood now. Cause guess what? I ain't out there with you hood niggas. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you niggas doing now. You niggas, I don't know what the fuck you niggas doing now. You niggas doing all kind of shit. That's why I'm not in the hood with you niggas right now. Yeah, yeah. So uh, just a little bit more about your background. School, talk school. Were you big in school? Maybe focus, or was it like you know your focus on other nah, things? Nah, I really wasn't. You know, in school, man, I really wasn't. I wasn't nobody in school. I wasn't shitting nobody in school. I look at me now, bitch. I need to talk to one teacher. Yeah. I'm here. Remember them 50? <laughs> bitch fell the shit out of me like that. I ain't gonna <laughs> call her name. She might be dead. Let her rest in peace. I ain't gonna call her name. A kid might be. A kid, kid, grandkid. <laughs> right now. She fell the shit out of my ass, though. But uh, yeah, now I wasn't, I wasn't a school dude, man. I, I played, you know, play sports, you know, fell behind a little bit and start going to, you know, catch up school, contemporary school, and just, you know, got out of high school, man, and tried to do college. And school, the school thing just wasn't me. I never was into, you know, books and shit, so. Yeah, so uh, how, well, I guess before we can talk about your experience jumping into music, you know, growing up as a young nigga, Houston, all over the, if, you know what I'm saying all over the place. What was on your playlist at that time? What's some stuff maybe even whether it was you? Oh, uh, well, you know we jam. You know then you know got you know yeah. I remember I'm almost fifty. I know I look good, girl. You know what I'm saying I'm almost fifty. So you know that's that's our Tupac. You know N.W.A. era. You know so we jamming that. We jamming Tupac, Machiavelli and shit. You know what I'm saying so. Yeah. yeah, we that's that's the Tupac era. That's the Tupac Machiavelli era while we trying to come up to, you know, as you know, being who we get our own identity into this rap game. So Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm pretty sure if we was talking about playlist was in my seat was in my dick was Tupac. Yeah, I was a Tupac fan. I, I was I, I like I liked I, I was I listened to a lot of hip hop, but I was a Tupac fan as everybody else. Yeah. Machiavelli. I hear that commonly, so you know what I'm saying? At that point in time, of course, we ain't had the social medias and stuff like that. So, how were you exposed? Like, what was the way that you were? Yeah, CDs, with you? man. Got to get them CDs. Get out there and sell them motherfucking CDs, man. Grind them CDs and tapes out, man. Tapes first, you know what I'm saying? You got to sell them tapes, man. You got to. That's how we made our way. Was just rapping over the over beats and stuff, and just you know putting mixtapes together as a DJ. Just putting mixtapes together, just start 
hustlers, the mixtapes, you know, just everywhere. It don't even matter where they have one or two or three of the crowd shit, they gonna be, you know, where I, I just was everywhere with the tapes. And then I just created a system, a distribution system for, for underground, for the mixtapes. And she, we just started, you know, once she, we had a system going, she drop a tape, send them to all the stores. You know, we had over 5,000 stores at a point, so, you know, shit. We was really getting real live money, you know. That's, yeah. you know, that's what our promotion was, getting out in these streets, being at every club, being at every event going places you know that was our promotion then you know try to get in hardcore you know the hard magazines the, you know the hard copy magazines and everything so that's what you know everybody was that's your point was try to get on the magazines and stuff then so and if not you know you're gonna use posters flyers and everything else that's what it was the posters flyers cds and tapes man that's, 